you were all in the rocking chair. Me, my sister, both of my sisters, including this child. Took me first, put me on the bed, took our clothes off. I think all of us had our clothes off. He took all our clothes off. Then he would take one of, one of us at a time. He put me on the bed. So we got, when he got through, he put me back in the door. The rocking chair. Then he had put my sister. I was three, my sister was two. By the time he had laid my sister Annie on the bed, my mom was And they got to fight. And then the next day, at night, he left. Jesus didn't teach no football. Jesus had a whole lot of folks following him because he was out in his community. So you can all about your little systems. The system is broken. The education system is this. It ain't the system. You need to get out there suit and that time come down here and deal with this problem that's in the community. Don't call me if you ain't dealing with this problem in the community. We got to find that courage. If I represent a people through the knowing of God, it ain't nothing you can give me without the people knowing about it. I ain't going behind the closed door. But as a child, I didn't know what, I didn't know even know what he was doing because I was just a child. But my mom knew. And, um, they separated, and my mother stayed a long time down the south. Then we went to Iowa. My mother escaped. She was on chair party, trying to get those 40 acres in the mule. My mother remember all my bondage. Anyway, so I, so I remember when we went, got to Iowa, my mother escaped, like in a wagon, and, and we all hid in it, covered us up, and then we went to the bus station. And we went to Iowa with my grandfather, and my grandmother was, my mother's mother was. And then maybe two years later, my stepfather came. And him and my mother went back together. In the Bible, they say God said that he used the laws and brings them up to make the big man look like a fool. Here it is, we got people out here to not want to be mentors, but they got to get some funding before they educate a child. That's not a mentor. Anytime you need something in your pocket, to mentor a child, you're not a mentor. And I want y'all to hear me good. A mentor is somebody with the love in their heart. The love of God to go out and say, that's the wrong way. You ain't supposed to be doing that. Hey man, look, brother, pull your pants up. You hurt yourself. But my mother left us, she didn't take us with us. Me, my brother, and my sister. Who's that thing? My father. My father. And she took his only daughter. Daughter and son. They took those two children and they came to the same And left you with your grandfather. And left, left me, my brother, and my sister with my grandfather. Because my mother got three oldest children by my father. And then the rest of her, wait, six of them, eight of them. Of them was by my stepfather. And then my mother married the third time to a really good man. Uh, my was really my father. I call him my father. He's the only father I know. My mother, third husband. And here's a man married my mother. I watched Colleen. And I watched Colleen. And the black did not hear my mother. Because my stepfather, my third cousin, my mother, third husband, I remember when he first came to date my mom. Because even though my mama had nine kids, my mama was particular. I mean, she, I mean, people would think because she had nine kids, you ought to be desperate. Oh no, my mama was particular. You gonna eat at this table. No, you ain't going no, you back in them days, you ain't going no room, you eat. You ate at the table. Oh, uh, my stepfather came in uh, and asked my mother to go out. So I never forget he came in the living room. So one of us came in. He sat there. Here's a man with no children, no kids. And then two came in, three came in, four came in, five came in, six came in, seven came in, eight came in, and nine came in. And he still was sitting there. And they started dating. And we loved him. It was such a good man. Not only good to my mom, it was good to us. And they got married. And that was the best life, baby. We was moving on up. But yet still, they come sit on these boys with these ties on, prominent people. But they not go. When soon as they leave there, see somebody with their pants set, they walk past. Walk past, don't say nothing. 
don't say nothing. Every day I leave my house, every day I leave my house, if you're sagging, I got a problem with you. I'm going to say something to you. It ain't what you say, it's how you say I seen a woman the other day dragging her baby. And it didn't make no sense. I told her, stop dragging that baby. I seen a man the other day sitting in a restaurant. Early in the morning, just getting off work. Over there, mistreating his kids. Because he don't have the patience. Kids don't know. When they don't know, you take the time and you take the patience out to train that child. But we're training our, kid, our kids the wrong way. We want to get around the house talking about that no good man ain't no good. And the child hearing it, but it playing like it don't. And when his daddy come around, he don't like it. Because what he heard, the Bible speaks about it. From the time you get up to the time you go to sleep. Right, right. You got to watch what they say out your mouth. These kids is like SpongeBob. Right. That's why they play SpongeBob. Right. It's a symbolic sign in that. Right. SpongeBob. He's a sponge. So he absorbs everything. Yeah. That's the best hair I've ever learned. Right. I used to have to walk to school to no lunch. <laughs> All these things changed. He, took, he had a very good job. Uh, uh, worked for St. Louis Victor, was in the union. Brought his whole check home to my mom. You hear me? And he did not distinguish between us and his biological. He could not have kids until he met my mom. He had five children. I got five brothers and sisters. He got a set of twins. And they told him he could not have children until he met Emma. Jane, you hear me? I used to beg my mama, don't bring nobody else home. We got 15, my mother got 15 children. I said, please, mama, what we gonna put up at? Jesus. She used, to take, she used to take the drawers and make them into beds. Lord. And the most disrespected person, as Malcolm X say, in the world is our women. We want to get around here and dog our women and talking about get out money. You're not a man if you're not getting your money yourself. Don't no man, y'all no woman. A man treat a woman gentle. Don't no man beat on a woman. You're a coward to me if you're gonna beat a woman. You're a coward. That's what you is. It ain't no heart, you is a coward. A man do not remind himself that he's a man. A man's action tells that he's a man. You gotta go and say to them, look, if I've done something to you, forgive me. Because whatever you've done to me, I forgive you. It is not that serious. God, 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 God Jesus, what they did to him, you know we ought to be able to forgive for money to recognize as a man. That's right. That's right. You just pray for him because God will handle who, whoever mistreats you. You pray. The Bible said pray for them. And, and God will handle them. You can't handle them. That's what Job did. Because if you try to handle them, God's going to handle you. And they will come and they will acknowledge God deal with right way. God will deal with, especially when you mess with children and old people, God deal with you right way. He ain't got no patience with you. Children and old people, he gonna deal with you right way. You gotta believe. Y'all out there that's listening to this song, y'all know what I'm on. Yeah.
Let's give God some praise. Let's give God some praise. Let's give Jesus some praise. Cause he saved you from your sinful ways. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. Yeah, that's if you want to go to the next level. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. I bow down, Lord. I bow down, Lord. I give you all of the glory, Lord. I give you all of the glory, Lord. Yes, I do, Lord. Yes, I do, Lord. Yes, I do, Lord. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. All you gotta do is just change your way of thinking. So, so I, I just want to share that my son is, is absolutely right that uh, God will visit you and God and I and God visit Gabriel. Gabriel is doing what he's doing because God is in his life and once God is in your life. You, you don't, you don't talk the same. You don't walk the same. You don't live the same. <laughs> you become humble and you're not selfish. And you ain't into things. He gives you a whole different mission, a whole different mission. So that's why I love Kenny Boy. He's my, he's my brother. And whenever he call, whenever I call him, he come to my meetings or wherever, climb on the bus, go protest and thinking with me. This is time to wake up. Yes, Lord. Amen. Watch God smile down on you. Did you go out there and tell that child what he was doing wrong? That wasn't the wrong, that wasn't the right way? Yes. Did you tell that man that was sagging? Put up his pants? That's when you're making a difference in your community. When you got the courage to get out and talk with these men and women and children. And if when you throw these events, don't profit from these events. That's right, that's right. Amen. Amen. If it ain't giving back to the community, that's right. get your event out of this community. That's right, that's the truth. Amen. This ain't about I, this yes. is about we. That's right. Amen. We. We as a whole. Yes, Lord. You understand what I'm saying? So I thank God for being able to be invited to come in here and share this message. And I hope and pray that it got down in somebody's heart where they can see that we ain't playing with this thing. When it come to God, I'm doing God's agenda. And if you got a problem with it, talk to God about it. Pull up your hands and help pull up your
streets trying to stay alive. Uh, I got a gun in my face and hey. straight by the cops, but I ain't worried about a case. Hey. I used to jump the fences with the dope, and I dope. was young game, and I had no hope. Ho. But they told me one day you can keep doing what you're doing, boy, you be bending up so so. I'm like, no, I'm going to college. Get it. Get your knowledge, your dick, they deposit. Look, KB on the one and two. Kenny boy, boy, that's what we do. do. I got my pants up, uh, got my grands uh, up. Now I'm seeing my son, he got his stands uh, up. Football playing a little league. league. We ain't worrying about what these other people saying. G, yeah. stop killing. Get your brain right. Right. Go to school, man. Get your life right. right. You can have a house on a hill. Yeah. Riding on the big wheels. Straight yeah. chilling. Taking trips, dog. To, to Miami. Miami. Out of the St. Louis. To no Miami. Miami. We in a Gambino. Trying to be like Nino. Nino. Trying to box Nino. For what, man? Just go ahead and do what you gotta do. do. See young brothers in the streets got no clue. Huh? Hold up your pants. Oh, 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 oh. Pull up your community. Pull up your pants and help pull up your community. You being tricked, modern day slavery. They tricking you. Don't wanna go to school. You think school is a joke? You ain't doing nothing but saying that you don't want your mind to develop. Then you wonder why the prison system is so tight. They tricking you. Hey, man.